Everyone has a number of acquaintances, but no one has many friends. For true friendship is not common, and there are many people who seem to be incapable of it. For a friendship to be close and lasting, both the friends must have some very special qualities. The first quality is unselfishness. A person who is concerned only with his own interests and feelings cannot be a true friend. Friendship is a two-sided affair. It lives by give and take, and no friendship can last long, which is all give on one side and all take on the other. Consistency is the second quality. Some people do not seem to be consistent. They take up an interest with enthusiasm, but they are soon tired of it and feel the attraction of some new object. Such changeable and uncertain people are incapable of a lifelong friendship. Loyalty is the third quality. Two friends must be loyal to each other, and they must know each other so well that there can be no suspicions between them. We do not think much of people who readily believe rumours and gossip about their friends. Those who are easily influenced by rumours can never be good friends. Trust is perhaps the fourth quality. There must be mutual trust between friends so that each can feel safe when telling the other his or her secrets. There are people who cannot keep a secret, either of their own or of others. Such people will never keep a friend long. Lastly, there must be a perfect sympathy between friends. Sympathy with each other's aims, likes, joys, sorrows, pursuits and pleasures. Where such mutual sympathy does not exist, friendship is impossible.